Hello, I'm Jonathan Kirsch with the latest Lakewood news and events. During the October 9th City Council meeting, Council had its first public hearing on the proposed 2018 annual budget. The second and final public hearing will be 7 p.m. on October 30th. You can view the proposed budget at lakewood.org forward slash budgets. To watch the October 9th City Council meeting online, visit lakewood.org forward slash council videos. Election day is November 7th and ballots must be received by 7 p.m. For your convenience, the city clerk's office has a 24 hour drop off box located at 480 South Allison Parkway. For a full list of drop off locations, visit lakewood.org forward slash election 2017. If you have questions about the election, contact the city clerk's office at 303-987-7080. Results will be live right here on channel 8 after the polls close at 7 p.m. And be sure to check out the Lakewood Voting Made Easy video for answers to any voting questions you might have. You can watch it at lakewood.org forward slash vote. And you can hear the positions and views of the candidates for Lakewood City Council in video forums sponsored by the Jeffco League of Women Voters. There are separate forums for candidates in each of Lakewood's five wards. You can watch the candidates just for your ward or all of them by going to liquid.org forward slash candidate forums. The programs will also air at various times on Lakewood 8 cable TV. You can find the full schedule at liquid.org forward slash forum TV schedule. If you don't know which ward you live in, visit liquid.org forward slash ward map. Everyone loves to talk about making government better. Now here's your chance to actually do it. You have the opportunity to help make decisions about building issues and historic preservation by applying for openings on Lakewood's boards and commissions. The deadline to apply is November 17th and applications are available online at lakewood.org forward slash get on board, which also provides a full description of the qualifications for each position. For more information, contact Donna Moreno at 303-987-7661. The military creed of leaving no soldier behind takes on new meaning when it comes to veterans who have died but remain unclaimed for burial. Thanks to a volunteer collaborative effort with strong ties to Lakewood, these veterans are receiving dignity, honor, and closure through the final roll call, Honors Committal Program. You can read about it on What's Good in the Wood at lakewood.org forward slash good stories. The City of Lakewood will be holding a dog license and vaccination clinic from 9 a.m. to noon on November 4th at the Belmar Heritage Center Calving Barn. You'll have the opportunity to license your dog for just $20 and get distemper and rabies vaccines for just $15, a board of teleshop for $20, and a microchip for just $20. You can find out more information about the clinic at lakewood.org forward slash dog licenses. Child's Play presents Go Dog Go at 2 and 4 p.m. Sunday, October 22nd at the Lakewood Cultural Center, bringing the adventures of P.D. Eastman's book to life in a frolicking musical dog party. The cast of this beloved children's favorite has truly gone to the dogs with zooming cars, zany hats, audience participation, and even a wild game of ball. Most importantly, this hilarious visual spectacle sneaks in some important life lessons in between innings. Go Dog Go is a one hour musical romp full of surprises, clowning, vaudeville, singing and barking, and of course, six lovable, colorful dog characters. Just keep in mind that the show is best suited for audiences ages four and up. Tickets start at $6 and are available at 303-987-7845, lakewood.org forward slash LCC presents, or the Lakewood Cultural Center box office. Rooney Ranch Elementary School third grader Graydon Abbott recently had the opportunity to spend the day as mayor. Graydon won a silent auction held by the school to raise money for the school's playground. He was able to shadow the mayor and learn about proclamations, get a briefing from the city manager, check out the city's traffic cameras, and get a tour of the council chambers, police department, and the cultural center. He even got a chance to put the mayor in the hot seat and interview him on the set here at Lakewood 8. Check it out. What kind of paperwork and how much paperwork do you have each day? We do a lot of paperwork and, and while we're considered a wireless or uh, while we're considered a um, paperless council, we still have a lot of paper. And so I would say while we, while we deal with a lot of paper, I deal with a lot of emails a day. Do you have any kids? 153,000 of them. No, I don't. I don't have any kids at this time, but uh, hopefully one day. But when I say 153,000, that's about the population of the city of Lakewood. And so, um, you know, like you as mayor, we're always trying to work for them. What is your favorite dessert? Ooh, my favorite dessert. I like Reese's peanut butter cup blizzards. 
I just like Reese's peanut butter cups. Have you ever had a blizzard? Mm-hmm. I like them mixed up. Although I have been switching a little bit to the Heath. You ever had a Heath blizzard? No. Maybe you should try that. And let me know how that goes. Are you in charge of the roads in Lakewood? So uh, the, the city council and, and myself, we are what they call policy. So we allocate the money. And absolutely, the main priorities of the city is public safety. So that's our police, potholes and sidewalks, which are our roads. And what do you think the last one is? Uh, houses? Parks. Yep. Police, parks, and potholes. That's really what we work with. And so we want to make sure we have good roads to drive on. Wait, but you also need dog parks. We do. We're, so that dogs could train. We're working like on those. We dogs. have one. Okay. How long have you been mayor? Two years. Aren't you going to be mayor for eight years? So I have two more years left in this term and then I can rerun again for another four-year term. How about you, how long are you gonna be mayor? For about two hours. All right. Why did you want to be mayor and how did you get your job? So I grew up in Lakewood, so I've been here for 40 years. And um, I think it's a great community and local government is a great opportunity. It's a great place to serve. And I think we have a, a, a good city and I wanted to be a part of it. And so I put together a campaign and did a lot of door knocking, going door to door, talking to people and listening to what they liked about Lakewood and what they didn't like about Lakewood. And then I shared with them what I wanted to try to do for Lakewood. And I was elected to city council once, and then I was reelected, and then I ran for mayor. That's cool. Um, what is your favorite emoji? <laughs> That's great. I like, uh, well, some days I like the angry face, but most of the time the guy that goes like that, that's a good one. I like the money face. Oh yeah, show me that. I don't know how to do it, but he has the money eyes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> have you ever tried being president? I have not. Um, Mayor Lakewood is a great place to be. Never be president. They have way more home, way more paperwork. Way more paperwork. You betcha. What was your favorite cartoon when you were a kid? Mm, Tom and Jerry. I like that. And then uh, I'm a big fan of Scooby Doo. That's my dad's favorite too. All right. Okay, I'm done. Well, that was a good interview. So I'm going to share with the, the folks on camera a little bit about you, and I'm going to ask you some questions. Okay. So this is Mayor Graydon Abbott. He's uh, mayor for the day today, and he's a third grader at Rooney Ranch Elementary. He's wicked smart at math, right? And um, tell us a little bit more about you. So you're in third grade, and what, what do you want to do when you grow up? Um, when I grow up, I either want to be mayor or... A police. All right. Because if I'm a police, I can have a doggy. Yep, you could do the canine unit, you betcha. And we have a, a couple of those here. So tell me this, what do you like about Lakewood? What a great mayor you are. Oh, you're kind. And how about, I heard a little bit, you have a new park by your house? Mm-hmm. And is that the Carmody Park? Yeah. And it's pretty cool? What's your favorite thing at the park? Either the flying saucer or the walking thing. It's great. What don't you like about Lakewood? What would you change if you were mayor? I would have a lot more dog parks. Well, we better get you up to the podium and let the community know that those can be contentious. So I'll let you handle that one for me, okay? Well, I wanna thank you. Thanks for coming out and being part of this. And I want you to, if you could take back to your class, just a message letting them know how important they are to the city of Lakewood and that um, We'd love to see them continue to be active, and I look forward to seeing them as future leaders of our community. Hopefully they will be. Absolutely. And I'll be mayor. You'll be mayor. Boom. Thank you. And check out this behind the scenes video of the zero waste efforts by volunteers at this year's Cider Days. City employees, along with sustainable neighborhood volunteers, sorted through all of the waste generated by visitors in an effort to divert as much as possible from the landfill. A big thank you to them for doing this all day, both days of the festival. 
That's it for this edition of City Scene. Stay up to date on the latest Lakewood news and events at Lakewood.org. I'm Jonathan Kirsch. Thanks for watching. As the summer slides into fall, visitors at Bear Creek Lake Park can still experience what makes this place one of the most popular parks in Lakewood. But while the landscape on the surface seems healthy, for years it's been lacking an important element. Prescribed fire can be a really good thing for our open spaces. Each year the grass grows and then it goes dormant in the fall, so we end up with a lot of dead material out there, which builds up, which doesn't allow for great growth. Um, but at the same time, um, without the same nutrient level in the soils that fires and some other things provide, you do get a lot of noxious weed expansion. The benefit with putting fire on it is it gives us a chance to get the natives reestablished and to get some of those invasives controlled. West Metro Fire Rescue will be conducting a prescribed fire at Bear Creek Lake Park. This is a partnership with the uh, City of Lakewood Parks and it's an opportunity for us not only to reduce uh, invasive plants in the park, but to remove some of the hazardous fuels in order to reduce the severity of, of potential future wildfires. And it's an opportunity to allow our crews to, to train on real live fire in the fuel model, which is primarily grasses, that is the major fuel that we would be dealing with in wildfires in our district. We can pre-plan you know, all we want. We can uh, go through scenarios. Um, but to get, pull out your equipment, your, your hose, your, your tools, flow water on, on real fire, there's nothing that uh, can really compare to getting hands-on with the real thing. The main benefits are to the, the plants, but that has a trickle-down effect throughout the whole ecosystem. So the better our native vegetation, the better it is for our native wildlife, and the better it is for our native insects. Benefits of the community is we're better prepared to respond to this type of fire because we've dealt with it in a real-life environment. And so our goal is always is to protect life and property. And this allows us the opportunity to, to better prepare ourselves to do just that.